Alrighty, haven't filmed the video in a while, so I figured I would do one on this. Um, I've never done this before. I couldn't find any videos really online about it. Just a lot of forum posts and stuff, Facebook. Racewear head studs into an M54 engine. So, um, as everyone knows, the uh, M54 engines, the blocks are aluminum, and they're known for blowing uh, the threads out of the block under like high torque. So, uh... These racewear studs are super expensive, but they're apparently proprietary threads and proprietary nuts and bolts or uh, nuts and washers. So they hold uh, the same amount of clamping force with less torque. So these get torqued to, I think, 42 foot pounds. There's some uh, instructions on the back right here I need to read still. But I figured uh, most people use the VQ35 main studs as head studs in these. And I just figured I would spend the 200 extra bucks and uh, just hopefully buy the right thing. So let's hope my block holds torque. Um, realistically, I'm doing this, though, because I've been lifting my head continuously over the past uh, three or four events. And uh, it's starting to get worse and worse and worse. And I'm hoping, I'm praying this keeps the uh, head gasket together because... Uh, I don't know if it will. So I guess it's, uh, I'm just going to waste my time maybe or just take the risk, take the valve cover off, and we're going to replace these one by one. Um, we're not going to, we're not going to pull the whole head off and do the studs like that. I'm just going to do them one by one and hopefully it holds. So let's get to it. So here are the head studs, the RWE-1054 E46-330i 10 millimeter. So uh, I believe they're 1.5 uh, thread pitch into the block and then 1.25 you can see that uh for the nuts right so these are proprietary proprietary they're special i don't know what's special about them but we're just gonna roll with it um you know oh funny thing about this i bought them from vac um and then i find out that they're located in taylor michigan this is like an hour from me so i wish i had known that beforehand because i would have just given them a call and seen if i could uh go on and pick them up or something um Look at all this stuff, right? I don't know. A lot of information. Um, so, depending on if these pull out of the block or if these uh, hold my head down, blah, blah, blah. If they, none of that works. This motor motor is going to go in here. Um, and I'm going to toss those studs in this block. And hopefully, hopefully those hold. So, prayers. Okay, so I just pulled the valve cover off. See, everything looks pretty good in here. Uh, don't mind this. <laughs> a little bit dusty. This is like a 200,000 mile junkyard motor. Um, pretty easy to pull the valve cover off. Takes about 15 minutes by hand. Um, so obviously, you can see the head studs right there. So, or the head bolts down at each of those cavities. Luckily on BMWs, you can do them one by one without pulling the cams or anything. So I'm going to open up this package over here. Don't mind all these parts. And uh, one thing I'm going to have to do, though, I'm going to have to take a, a 1.25 nut, and I'm 10 by 1.25 nut that I find. I'm going to have to weld it, maybe like a screwdriver or something like that. That way, so these don't have Allen heads like most studs do. So I'm going to have to weld something on there. That way I can uh, weld something to this so I can use it as a nut and spin it all the way into the block. All right, quick little overview of what I was talking about with the uh, head stud installation tool. Don't mind my boogers, but here's the new head stud. This portion, oops, that portion on the right gets threaded into that nut that's welded to this. That way we can fit this down in here like that to install the new stud. Otherwise, um, getting that in there would be kind of difficult. Alrighty. First stud is removed. Um, we're going to follow the torque sequence for the stock uh, head bolt. So this is one right there. And then the next one we're going to do is right there. Um, next step is to uh, clean out that... Uh, that hole a bunch right so we're gonna uh spray a bunch of brake cleaner in there bring this in and out a bunch more times make sure it's clean and then we'll start installing a new stud all right here's the contraption i came up with 
uh, Racewear recommends a little bit of pipe dope at the end of the threads to keep it in the black. It's a little bit crooked, don't mind me. Um, so I cleaned up the threads in the block. I just chased it with the original uh, bolt a couple times. And now we're going to go ahead. And I blew it out with an air gun as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start by threading this in to the block by hand. Right Now I look like an idiot because this bolt is so crooked. So I keep threading this in. They say don't jam it. Just thread it in until it stops. Okay. Right there's where it stops. I just thread it by hand. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I get it tight enough that uh, this stud actually, this my contraption actually backs off the top. I think it just did, so we're good. I hope. <laughs> All right. So where's that? Uh, right there. There's the stud installed. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, grab the nut, grab the washer, and lube it up with a little bit of uh, new oil, and uh, let's start to work it. All right, I finally got one of these started. Uh, future reference, don't install the washer after you put the stud in because it is a royal pain in the ass to get it on past the stud because it's such a tight area. I'll show you guys on the next one I do. but uh, So it's an 11 millimeter 12 point socket. I'm just going to snug it in by hand right now. I got the uh, torque wrench right here. Borrowed uh, my buddy Corey's snap-on torque wrench just to make sure. So the first one is 15 foot-pounds, 20 newton meters. Step two is 30 foot-pounds, 40 newton meters, and 55 newton meters, 42 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna get to that. All right, first step done. Next one is what? 40 newton meters. So we'll turn this up a bit. And uh, here, let me put this phone in my left hand. Kind of nerve-wracking. These uh, M54 blocks are known for being kind of weak. Let's see. Okay. The last is 55 newton meters. Let's see if this one holds. That one held 55.3 newton meters. On to the rest. Okay, I figured I'd film an update. I'm halfway done. So I got seven of them done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? That one too? I don't remember. Seven of them are done. Seven are left to do. It's like these back ones, these front ones. Um, it's going fine. It's tedious, very time consuming. I've been at it for a couple hours now just because you take it's kind of a pain to be honest to get in these little holes. But uh hopefully it all holds down. I'm nervous about the back ones. Those cylinders always get the hottest. I've been at this for a couple days now. I was pretty busy yesterday, so I didn't get to finish it up. I have like uh 12 of the studs in. I'm waiting on the this one right here. I need to do back there and then this one. But I'll show you guys what not to do when you're doing these head studs and putting the washer, trying to disassemble. So down there, you can barely see it, but I actually dropped the washer that goes in the stock head bolt and it fell below the factory cam tray. So I spent like hours yesterday, I just got it out. Not hours, but I probably spent 15 minutes yesterday trying to blow it out with this air gun. Did not work. Had to go and buy this little uh, magnetic tool to get it out. Tried getting with that little pick tool too. It uh, 
pain in the ass basically but um we're almost done two more studs to put in should be good to go i'm gonna reassemble it and fire it up all the head studs are in now just did a final uh torque check on them all 55 newton meters they all held it next step is to toss this back on cam cover toss the valve cover back on coils all the hardware and uh, fire it up you gotta let it get up to operating temp and then uh let it cool down pull all this back off and then uh torque it again make sure it held torque and then uh after that the next step is to drive it and see if it worked got the valve cover bolted back up all the coils are in it so i'm gonna fire it up see uh see how it runs let it warm up the operating temp Seventy, one eighty-ish. Fans on. Seems to be running just fine. I mean, let it run for a while more, and then I'm gonna uh, pop the valve cover back off and retorque them. Make sure they're all good. Next step is definitely to uh, street drive it as well and build some boost and see if there's uh, pressure in the cooling system. Look at that. Valve cover's back off. Uh, went ahead and heat cycled the motor so let it cool back down to room temperature after it's operating temp and I went ahead and retorqued all the uh, head studs and they all held 55 newton meters or 42 foot pounds as race wear calls um, not really much to it this is pretty much the end of the video uh, I just wanted to show that you could in fact replace them one by one without pulling the cams cam trays or pulling the head um, uh, whether or not the head gasket holds up doesn't really have much to do with this video because it was just about how to replace the uh, head bolts with head studs. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll try to upload more often. As you can see, the car got a uh, cool livery over the uh, spring. And uh, you know, shout out to all my sponsors who've been working with me. Uh, House of G, Brennan Greaves, my tuner. Silver suspension, always the best. Seems legit garage. I have like their whole catalog on my car. Fresh Produce, MFG. You know my boy Corey, the turbo kit, all the intercooler piping, Link ECU for all the standalone uh, engine management needs, Chase Bays, all the, uh, what do they call it, the uh, fluid transfer products in the engine bay, and uh, I have their handbrake lines as well, and their handbrake, and Perfect Balance PB, my buddy uh, Darius over there. Um, you know what, I almost forgot a couple, they're on the hood. Nerp Tech Fuel Lab. Those are usually on the side skirts, but you can't see them. So, shout out to all those guys. I really appreciate all their help with this car. And uh, let's see what the season brings.